Hey, what's up? This is Maddie from Memphis Mayfire, and you're watching Metal Nexus. Just wrapped up your tour with Papa Evil and Messer. Um, how's it been going out on the road with those guys? It was awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. Pop Evil Camp, Messer Camp, all those guys are rad, man. It's awesome. So pretty good tour overall? It's a great tour, man, yeah. Um, how, how was the attendance? Pretty good? Yeah, it was awesome, dude. Yeah, there's definitely some highlights. Detroit was amazing. Uh, Cincinnati was amazing. Um, Kansas City was amazing. We had some killer shows, man. It's good. Do you know the big difference between like when summer's beginning to start and winter tours? Is there a big attendance difference that you see from the stage? It just depends, man. It depends on the market and it depends on the bands you're out with and stuff like that. So, sorry. <laughs> um, it's just it's hard to say if um, if it's a if it's a time of year that's really affecting it. I would say it's it's oh, it's tough. Um, so you recently released the incredible catchy song "Heavy Is the Way," uh, featuring hip hop hip hop artist Andy. Is it Mino? Minio. Minio. Um, uh, how was it working with Andy, and how did the writing process work with, with you and him together? It's cool, man. I've been a big fan of Andy's music for a long time, so um, I was just excited about the opportunity to create with him, you know. And uh, he killed his part on the song, you know, and uh, and it was really rad. And he made an appearance in the music video and everything. Um, we're excited about the song. It just went to radio, and we're stoked to see what happens with yeah. it. So did you collaborate together like about the song or did you come up separately with your Yeah, uh, we finished the song with the bridge empty and sent it to him and just I gave him a concept to roll with and then he wrote his part and tracked it and sent it back, you know. So um, we were never in the same room together and we've actually never met in person. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's cool. It's cool to have him on a tune. It's great how stuff like that can happen in, in yeah. this modern age. Oh man, for sure. It's crazy. It's crazy to uh, to have never met as somebody to have never met someone and to have created with them, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, so rock and hip hop have always been a great genre to collaborate with each other. Uh, do you feel it's important to push the boundaries of your style and sound, and how do you feel you've done? Absolutely, man. Yeah, and I feel like our latest record, Broken, you know, is like the biggest boundary pushing record that we've put out so far. It's very much an active rock record that we wrote for rock radio that we're excited about, and um, we just, you know, we didn't care what people were gonna think. It's tough to make a, a big transition like that because people expect something from you. Uh, but I think it's important for us to write music that that we like, and it's important for us to write music that we're excited about. Otherwise, it does. It feels like it's not worth it to be out here. You know, I feel like we're selling a lie at that point. So we're excited about the record. The record's doing well at Radio Man, and um, and our core following of fans that have always been with us, man, they're there. They're still with us. Yeah, I definitely feel like this album was more of a rock album. Yeah. And I, I felt like a little bit of, of darkness, like in this album too. Yeah. You know, maybe. And you know, it definitely felt different, but it was still a Memphis Mayfire record. So. Absolutely, man. It's definitely a Memphis record. You know, the the, the lyrical content. Um, the album's called Broken because I think everyone's broken in their own way. You know, and uh, I think the music is a very powerful instrument that we can use to heal. You know, a powerful instrument that we can use while we're going through seasons of grief, uh, seasons of loss, you know, seasons of not understanding things. Um, and it's it, it's so important. And so we're just honored to write music and get to be a part of people's lives like that. And that's what this record's all about. Now, on this record, you worked with producer uh, Kane Churko, who's worked with Ozzy in this moment, Papa Roach, um, and various others. Um, how do you feel he attributed to the success of the album? It was cool, man. He definitely understands rock music, you know, um, and he understood it in a way that we didn't yet, you know, because this was kind of our first attempt. And so it was cool to collaborate and just to um, to, to hear how he would advise that we uh, change songs, or restructure songs, stuff like that. So it was a cool experience. So what was the deciding factor in picking Faint to cover by Linkin Park? Man, we're just big Linkin Park fans. We love that song. Um, we originally did the cover for a magazine called Rock Sound that did like a compilation. Um, and they had brought that idea up to us and we were like all about it. So, uh, you know, partially them. Um, so they kind of picked the song? Yeah, partially them. And then we, we had a, a variety of songs we could pick from. And we were super excited about that one, yeah. So have you heard anything from the Lincoln Park uh, camp about what they thought about the cover? 
We haven't. I mean, they might have said something on social media. I think I would have seen it if they did, but I don't pay attention to a lot of comments and stuff on social media. But um, but no, I haven't. But I would be absolutely honored to hear what they think about it. Oh, well, we, we definitely think you, you did Chester justice. Thank you so and, much, man. And I think that he would think it's an honor to have you covering his song. Thank you so much. Um, you're also playing Warp Tour this year. And yeah. It's played a, a role, in, I think, in the band's success over the years. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Do you think uh, up and coming bands in the scene now have uh, less opportunities? <coughs> I think there's always going to be opportunities uh, for new up and coming bands. Uh, this summer we're on the Rockstar Disrupt Tour that's kind of very much uh, the, the, the new thing, you know, I think it'll take the place of Warp Tour, um, for, you know, for the time being, and um, so that's that's a new opportunity, you know, for bands, and um, I think it's just all about getting out there, uh, being persistent, touring even when it's, even when you're broke, even when it's hard, even when no one's listening, you know, and playing until someone pays attention, you know. And, and you're always like a passionate person, a positive person that I've noticed. Um, how do you keep that drive? Man, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, my faith plays a big role in my life. Uh, gratitude plays a big role in my life. I wake up every morning and I choose to be thankful for the opportunities that we have. You know, um, to, su to someone else, you know, like we have these huge goals and aspirations, but to someone else, just the place that we're at right now is their dream, you know? And so it's just, uh, I think life is all about gratitude. Joy is all about gratitude. And choosing that on a daily basis can physically change your mental, uh, your, your brain and change your mental state. And, um, and it makes life better, you know? So I, I am that way for a reason. So we attend a lot of festivals all over the country. The, the heaviest of death metal to, you know, the most light rock that you can think of. And along the, the ways, you know, a lot of times we'll see, you know, churches picketing, you know, the, the events like today, even yeah. on the way here, you know. Gosh, you know. Uh, what's, what's your opinion on, on those? I think that when people say that they hate God or that they hate uh, Christianity, I think that they're really saying that they hate Christians, and, um, and and rightfully so, dude. I mean, like, I think that so many Christians have dragged, drugged the name of Jesus through the mud. Um, I don't think people hate God. I don't think people hate Jesus. I think that they hate the way that, they, that he's been represented, you know? And so um, it's just an honor for me to get to be a believer and to be in an environment like this and to love people the way that I think that Jesus would have loved people. And um, and that's that's it, man. That's my entire life. And so uh, people picketing shows like this, uh, I think they're ignorant. I think they're immature. Um, I think they're ill-informed. Um, I think that they're closed-minded. And I think that there's so much for the Christian community to learn about how to love people from all walks of life, regardless of what they're interested in. That's what it's all about, right? Absolutely. Love. Straight up, dude. Straight up. Um, so you also said, uh, getting back to Broken, um, that it'll introduce the band to a whole new group of people. Yeah. Uh, what do you think makes the album so different from previous records that will appeal to new fans? It's definitely a rock record. We've never put out a record like this before, you know? Um, a rocker, th a record, a rocker. <laughs> it's a rocker. Uh, a record that can, can go to radio, you know? And um, our first single attempt at radio went to the top 20 and was there for six weeks. Uh, we're so excited about that. We just dropped the second single and we're, we're hoping for the same thing. Uh, so people that listen to radio music and find new music on the radio, um, I think it introduces us to that crowd for the first time. Uh, so what else do you have going on the rest of the year that fans can look forward to? We're on that Rockstar Disrupt Tour this summer that I'm so excited about. At the end of this month, we're playing a festival called Spring Fling with Ask Me Alexandria and a Day to Remember and stuff like that. should be pretty awesome. Um, and then we haven't announced anything past summer, so so we'll. Uh, that, that's all I can say for the time being. We, Maddie, we definitely appreciate your time so much. Thank you, man. Yeah, uh, Always a pleasure. Likewise, brother. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.